All right. This is the Good Neighbor Podcast, the place where local businesses and neighbors come together. Here's your host, Cabo Jim Schaller. Welcome, Good Neighbors, to episode number 130 of the Good Neighbor Podcast, Estero. Today we have Good Neighbor Wiley Faruga from Picture Perfect Picnics. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure to, to get here. To learn here. Yeah, let's. Uh, so let's jump right in. Why don't you awesome. share a little bit about what you do? Okay, so I started Picture Perfect Picnics back in 2020 when the height of COVID was going on. And uh, what I offer is events for people, intimate events for two to 25 guests uh, for any occasion. So we do date nights, uh, we can do proposals, birthdays, bachelorettes, really anything. Um, It's all within the realm of, of the event planning. There we go. Very nice. So how, let me ask you this. How did you get involved in this industry? So I've always loved hosting tea parties and events for my friends. And um, I actually previously owned a nannying agency and I worked very closely with a family and I would do tea parties and things like that for them. For them. And then when COVID hit, um, my business started going into decline. And so I thought about, you know, what can I do outside of the box that really would be fun for me and also, you know, go along with the whole COVID thing going on. So I thought about doing mobile tea parties at first and, you know, bringing the tea party to people, to their porches, whatever, um, giving them the whole like high tea experience. And then um, I thought, you know, maybe that's just too niche. Um, so I kind of broadened my horizon a bit and started doing some research. And I saw that in California, they were offering uh, beach picnics. And so I had never seen that in Florida before. So I did my research. I called a bunch of companies over there. I looked at, you know, how their business model was, um, what their price points were and everything. And I came up with my own uh, business over here. That was in the summer of 2020. And I did my research for a few months and I ended up launching Picture Perfect Picnics in the fall of 2020. Very nice. And we have beaches here, so beach picnics are great, right? Exactly. Yeah, we do a lot of beach picnics for sunset. That's one of the advantages of being here on the west coast of Florida is our beautiful sunsets that people love to enjoy. And we do have amazing parks as well. So um, I have requests, you know, to do picnics in the park, and I love doing those also. That is awesome. So you mentioned COVID and having to, to pivot a little bit, and and we've all had some type of maybe challenge or obstacle along our way. Um, being a business owner, is there something other than that that you can look back at and say, you know what, I went through that, but now I'm, I'm moving forward and better because of it? Absolutely. I think that, uh, you know, going through that taught me that, I need to just really look inward and see what truly drives me. And um, for me, it's like bringing people together. I love, I've always loved that. That's a passion of mine. So I was able to make a business out of it. And it's something I love to do every day. And I don't wake up feeling like, oh man, like I have to do this today. Like I'm so busy. It's like, I'm excited. I get to meet new people. I get to do what I love. And also bear witness to um, people's experiences, like when they have a proposal or something like that, I get to be part of it. And it's such an honor. Um, so I would say, you know, COVID at the time, I was really stressed about it and it it made me feel kind of hopeless, but I reached deep within and I was like, you got to do something. So why not just uh, you try? Feel, uh- you followed your passion and, and what you love to do. And, and that's what, you know, that what makes the difference because you love waking up in the morning and being able to do what you love. You know, it doesn't seem like work then, does it? <laughs> exactly. It, it doesn't. It's, it's so much fun. And I've met amazing people um, out of this too. Like my clients have become friends and it's been a blessing in my life. That is great. So, surrounding what you do, are there any maybe myths or maybe misconceptions that we could clear up for our listeners? Um, hmm. Well, 
I do get people that want to have like really large scale events. And because I'm a one woman show, I just can't do that. Um, I max out at 25 guests. So, you know, uh, a lot of people would consider what I do event planning. And it is to an extent, but more of a niche of event planning for picnics and small intimate events. I do like sometimes I'll do wedding um, elopement things for up to 50, but that's a little bit outside of the picnics. Um, So, you know, just that the picnics are more of an intimate thing. It's not like a big thing where I can have a hundred people, you know? Absolutely. You got to keep it manageable for yourself, but still give the people a a good experience. And I think in keeping it, that number does that. Are you, are you noticing anything maybe trending in your industry that people might be doing? Um, I notice a lot of big fancy proposals going on now. Um, People want to do the wow factor for the proposals, the marriage proposals. And I think that's so cute and fun and I have a lot of fun doing that. I actually just came up with proposal packages so that I can cater to that side of things. And we offer hidden proposal photography as well with that. So, um, you know, being able to capture that moment and give a big wow factor. I mean, every time we set them up, there's people walking down the beach that are like, can I get a picture of this? This is amazing. What's (laughs) going on? So um, I've noticed for sure that proposals are becoming a really big thing for the picnic business. Um, not yeah. just for mine, but for others as well. I've seen them everywhere now. Now you doing anything with reveals? I haven't done too much with reveals actually. Um, I did my own gender reveal when I was <laughs> pregnant <laughs> right? and I did kind of a picnic style, but I haven't really had too many requests for that. Um, that I definitely see that, but Personally, I haven't had requests for that. Right, right. Yeah, you see a lot of it nowadays, that's for mm-hmm. sure. So yeah. are you from down here originally? I'm originally from the east coast of Florida, Parkland, Florida. Okay. And um, I was born and raised there. My mom was raised there uh, in the same house. So, you know, we're old generation Floridians. I moved to Naples when I was 19 on my own and um, started up my my original company, which was my nannying agency. Um, and yeah, it's, I, I love it over here. It's, it's definitely home now. And I met my husband here. We have our family and. Very nice. Yeah. So, so between your own business, children, what do you like to do outside of work? Uh, we're definitely adventurers. So we love to go, um, hiking. We love to go up to the mountains and go hiking when we can, road trips. Um, we like to be at the beach all the time. So when we're down here, we're almost always at the beach. Um, I love to host game nights at my house with my friends. So we'll get groups together and they'll all come by and we'll do, you know, games and everyone brings food. Um, and just just being out with people is really like something that's important to me, like being surrounded by good community and friends and um, having that in my life is so important. And I definitely make it a priority to have a social life. That is surrounding yourself with good people always makes it better. Mm -hmm. So is there one thing you wish maybe our listeners knew about what you do that maybe they don't know? Um, I would say that, you know, it takes a lot of passion to do what I do to make it look good and to make it look beautiful. And so I'm not just doing generic things. I don't look at a Pinterest board and think I want to copy that. I am a very creative person and I always have been. And so everything that you see that I put out is from my heart and it's from my own ideas. Um, Like even the tables that we have, I built by hand myself. I sanded them down, I stained them. Um, And so it's really important to me that when you have a business and when you are presenting something to the world like that, that it comes from within because every person has their special skill and their special talent that they can offer that's originally theirs, like it's uniquely them. And so, um, you know, picture perfect picnics, there's a lot of other picnic companies popping up now, but 
we were the first ones here. And if you like the style, it's uniquely me. Um, it's my passion. It's my heart that I'm giving you. And if you like others too, they're doing the same thing. So, you know, I don't get offended if people don't like my style or vibe with it. It's totally fine. Like, you know, everybody has their own thing. But, but competition is, I would say, in a sense, good because it draws people to the industry to think about that and think about what they, you know, hey, I've never thought about doing that. So mm-hmm. it, it's, it's a good thing. And doing what you do, hands-on pretty much, and from the heart, I think it is wonderful. You know, it's, it's a very nice way to position your business. How would our listeners go about maybe contacting you if they wanted to learn more or have a picnic of their own? So they can go on our website, uh, which it is pickperfectpicnics.com, pick, P-I-C, perfectpicnics.com. They can go ahead and go on our website, uh, fill out a booking form, and that'll go straight to me, straight to my email. Um, If I have availability, I'll let them know ASAP. Um, Other than that, you can follow us on social media and check out what we do. I try to post as often as I can as I'm getting picnics going. So um, our Instagram page is underscore picture perfect picnics underscore. And then we also have a Facebook page and all of that is also linked on our website. So if you uh, want to follow us on any of the social media platforms, feel free to just go on our website and you can find everything there. Very good. Well, Wiley, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you for being such a good neighbor. And we'll have to look into a picnic at the beach soon. (laughs) Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Let me know. (laughs) Thank you for listening to the Good Neighbor Podcast Estero. To nominate your favorite local businesses to be featured on the show, go to gnpestero.com. That's gnpestero.com. Or call 239-296-296. 2621.